Hi all, in this video, we will see the usage of Oracle Dynamic Scaling Chart. If your workload requires additional CPUs, the database system automatically can use the resources without any manual intervention required when Oracle Dynamic Scaling is running. And this Oracle Dynamic Scaling generates a log file. So Dynamic Scaling Chart is a tool which from such log files, it will make a chart describing the current OCPU, cluster load, node load, plugin load, or if CSV is in use, a .csv file will be, gener will be generated. Dynamic Scaling Chart options are listed here. Your COCPU, your current OCPU, C load, your cluster load, N load, your node load, P load, your plugin load, and your log where your dynamic scaling log file path is. Uh, you can give date filter to filter by a date, or you can give a begin and end to filter by a period. Your out where your path where to save the HTML or your PNG file. You have various options whether you want to make a PNG image by giving your PNG or your CSV uh, to make a CSV file. Then you have the label, the string to be used in title and file name, and finally your help which is the command help. Now by default, a dynamic scaling chart generates a HTML page with embedded chart and dynamic scaling parameters in use for the measures period. So if you just need only the PNG image file, you can give the PNG option. In this example, I'm using a 302 dynamic scaling dot long. Uh, this is my output uh, folder where my file, where my output file will be stored. And this is the date filter I'm giving. So from my logs, only the data for the 28th September 2023 will be available. Now let's see how to generate the charts. I have connected to a Linux VM with OL7 image. Firstly, Dynamic Scaling Chart needs GNU Plot and GD Graphic Library. So let's install this. Okay, so as you can see, you need to be root to perform this command. It is now downloading and installing. So as you can see, it is completed. Now, as you can see here, I have uploaded the log file and the RPM to install dynamic scaling chart. Since I'm using a Linux VM with OL7, so accordingly, I have downloaded the OL7 related binary from the Metalink. Now let's install the dynamic scaling chart RPM. Okay, I need to again install this with sudo. Okay, so as senior, this has been successfully installed. Now dynamic scaling chart dot bin, the binaries will be created under slash opt dynamic scaling dot chart. So let's go there. Now let's generate the chart. Now, as mentioned earlier, I'm going to use this particular log file. My output will be available in this folder. I have particularly given a date using the date filter. You can also give begin and end. Okay, so all this has been explained in the slide. So 
So let's go to the orders folder. So you can see here by default it has created the .html file. So let's have a look at this file now. Here is the HTML file we just created. So you can see you can generate the charts using the dynamic scaling chart tool. So you can have the current OCPU usage, the cluster load and the node load. It also provides the active dynamic scaling parameters. Thank you for watching.